Alright, welcome back. So let's check out one more level of the dungeon. Then we'll check out the lair, and then the orcish mines are here as well. So we'll check that afterwards. That's the usual way of doing things. Killer B. That probably means there's more of them. Oh, I still have a little bit of contamination, so let's get that away and then put my invisibility on. Yep, all these people need to die. The eyeball is the worst. Because it can freeze me, and killer bees can swarm me and kill me. And that would really be a shame at this point, wouldn't it? Killed by an eyeball. Indirectly. And bees. Alright, here's a centaur. No problem. Stealthy enough that I just get him. Okay, I don't know if these guys can see invisible. Mm. Can you see invisible? No, he can't. So we'll just turn invisible. I'm going to spam invisibility. Revelator's Ghost, a powerful halfling enchanter. Yikes, what do you know? Um, it knows invisibility and confuse. It can't see invisible, though. So, we should be in no problem. Let's turn invisible right now. Player Ghost can be kind of dangerous. We don't want him to put us to sleep or anything like that and get a good stab on us. Confused, but let's cure out of that right now. Which also cures our rot. What? I'm confused again. More... Oh, stop confusing me. Uh-oh. Does he have... a potion of... or a dagger of, um... distortion? That would really be a shame to die to the player ghost. I might just have to let him alone. But, uh... I can't help myself. <laughs> if I see him again, I'll, I'll see what my odds are. Maybe I'll just leave him alone. Or do lair first. Alright, these guys, we can just turn invisible, right? I said we can just turn invisible after I back off to let the stuff wear off. Or I can just handle them the old fashioned way. Let's back off. Because I don't care about you. Go invisible. Yes. Die, die, die. I'm bloodless now. And invisible still, but let's back off because I want to take on Revelator fresh. Uh oh. Do I have a potion of vulnerability? Oh, don't decompose. Good. Good, good. I did not decompose. I took a little bit of risk with the magical contamination there. All right, we're. Is he immune to for uh, enchantments? Not really. Let's try, try to confuse him. He resists easily. Well, we're gonna go invisible then. Die. Die, you stupid revelator. Okay, he died. Good. And I lost a little bit of death piety. That's okay, I'll get it right back, and I don't need to turn into a whirling mass of shadows, because I am a whirling mass of shadows. Gargoyle. He's wandering. They can't see invisible, can they? I don't know if they can. It's a good question. Uh-huh. Invisible. With no concern at all whatsoever for hunger, because I'm now bloodless, so whatever. I can now transform into a whirling mass of shadows. Yep. Death. Oh, I turned on invisible. Lame. I guess visible would be the word, <laughs> rather than uninvisible. That's fine. Should we get a little bit of blood? Feeling a little thirsty. Yeah, there we go. Thirsty. 
Let's see if you can see invisible. It cannot. So we're going to do that. Because those things are kind of dangerous. They don't get confused easily for whatever reason. Maybe because they're made out of rock. Alright. Done with that. And, um... Well, I guess that means we'll cut the video there and we'll check out the layer next time.